fun things about attending E3 is when you go behind doors like this and check out to see why they have so many awards attached to the front of it. And that's what I've just had the pleasure of doing for Raymond. What is it? Legends. Legends I was yeah. going to say Origins no, no, no. because that was the predecessor. <laughs> but we've got the new one, Raymond Legends, now to tell us all about it. He's the lead game designer. We've got Emile here, all the way from France. Yes. Ooh, oui. So Au revoir. <laughs> voilà. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Rayman Legends is basically the sequel to Rayman Origins, but it's actually more than a sequel to us. We wanted to improve on everything we've been building in the first one, everything people really loved. And so it's a much bigger game now. We have 120, more than 120 levels. Uh, it takes 20 hours of gameplay to finish Whoa. the whole game. Uh, we also have an online challenge mode, which is, which is something totally new for a Rayman game. Uh, and also a soccer mini game that we are showing today. So a lot ah. of content, a huge game, and uh, I hope people will love it. People should have heard of Raymond's by now. How, how, how old is Raymond? How Raymond was created in 1995 by uh, Michel Ancel, uh, our creative director. And he's been do, uh, working on all the Rayman games, including this one also. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's kind of uh, an old brand now, and it's kind of a Ubisoft mascot, you know. He so, is. Uh, yeah. You can see him on the shirt right here. Just check this one out. He's never ever had arms no. from the shoulder to the wrist, mm. and he's never really had legs. It's exactly. like random feet and random hands. But he's made a name for himself. And then this particular game, I've just had a little bit of fun playing it. I had a go. We've, it's not just Raymond. We've got different characters, and up to four, even five players can play um, in a multiplayer now. Exactly. So you can play up to four players at the same time on Xbox and PS3. You can play up to five players at the same time on the Wii U. And on the Vita, you can uh, play with uh, co-op, yeah, two players, exactly. With two be that connected to each other. Let's uh, talk about the new characters that you can play. I just had a go with Barbara. Barbara, Bar yes. Barbara. She's a barbarian and Bar she's really fun. Exactly. She's a barbarian princess. It was important for us to have a new female character mm -hmm. uh, and a tough one, you know, with an axe uh, capable to, eat, to, to punch enemies. Yeah. So uh, she can even uh, slide on an axe, actually. She has pretty cool moves and uh, people she love to play splits. with. She splits. <laughs> <laughs> I was going under a tight corner. It's like, oh, there you go, Barbara. Well done. I can't do that. <laughs> so yeah, it's a great character. You have lots of new characters. Actually, you have two princesses to unlock in each uh, world. So lots of uh, characters and I guess a player will uh, be able to choose the character they love the most. This is the kind of game where you can play with your other players around or you can kind of play against them as well because yeah. I kind of uh, threw a few punches at you with my axe and vice versa. What do you what do you recommend? Is it kind of fun just to run them up or should you kind of work together? Actually we like to call uh, this competition so you have to work together but at any time you can choose to punch your friends Then that's the fun of it. So most of the time when people start to play the game they start punching each other and then you know, five minutes <laughs> after they're like did. okay maybe we should kind of work together and then all of a sudden by accident, someone punched another player and it starts all over yes. again. And that's Rayman, you know, that's how it goes. That's exactly what we did. And the fun <laughs> part as well is when, you know, if you stuff up or if you get bitten by a laser or anything like that, you turn into a bubble and you're kind of helpless. You need someone to rescue you. So if you've been kind of picking on people and then you need help... Suddenly, they, will, yeah, they won't save you anymore. <laughs> they don't have to do it. Help so me. What, what, we've discussed it where we can play it on the Wii U, Xbox 360, the PlayStation 3 and the Vita. Yes. When can we play this game? So the game is going to be released on September the 3rd. So it's pretty soon right now. Yeah. Yeah, just a summer to wait. And will we have more Raymond after this? Uh, we'll see. I, I hope so. Honestly, I hope so because we really want to show that the brand is back and it's a quality brand, so it's important for us. Yeah, to, oh, I hope we'll be able to continue. The good, uh, good thing about this one is if you've got siblings at home that want to join in, they can, and they can actually help you as well. Or if you want to play it just one player, is that possible too? Yeah, sure. Of course, you can play the game uh, with one player. What is cool is that at any time, someone can pick up a, 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 a pad and join you and also leave the party. So it's really, really an amazing way to, yeah to play with your friends. And what's your favourite character out of all the playable characters? Mm. If you had to pick a favourite, mine's obviously Barbara. Uh, I would say Ursula, which is actually a princess from uh, also... She kind of looks like Barbara, but she's uh, from the ocean world. So she's, she's dressed as a spy and uh, she's really amazing. I like her too now. <laughs> Aww, there you go. Thank you so much for the chat though, Emil. Appreciate Thanks a lot. that.